Okay, this is another Rhino tutorial, um, and what I'm going to do here is do some control point curves, and then I'm going to extrude those and cap the the planer. I'll, I'll explain it. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a coffee table, or you know, like a 50s funky end table. So I click my control point curve, and I just kind of click up here on top because I'm going to do a, a table shape here, and maybe something a little bit you know kind of funky 70s like that okay so it creates this weird shape and let me let me do that again just so you can see it I'm gonna click on this control point curve just start clicking and making my shape and then when I get close it connects okay so now I'm gonna select my curve here and I'm gonna type extrude and then I'm gonna select curve now you see what it does is it lets me decide how tall I want my thing to extrude here. So if I was to go up here in this window and render this, you'll see I have this big ribbon now. All right, the other cool thing though is I can select this curve, and I'm just going to do well, let's do surface, and I'm going to type in cap and press spacebar. And now if I was to view this, let me do this one over here and do it around. I've got both sides capped. Okay? So all I did was type it and do capped. Alright. So, let me escape out of there. My next step is I want to draw legs. Now the easy way is in this 3D shapes here, I'm going to go to my truncated cone. And I'm going to click here and I'm going to draw, you know, out about that far. And then I'm going to kind of draw drag it inward. And that's going to be the bottom of the leg. And then I'm going to go down to either my front or my side, hold shift because that'll lock it down. And I'm going to just drag it out to what I think a table leg would look like. Now, in another, in a, a registered version of Bryce, you'll see this is the evaluation copy. I would just click this and then right click on the leg and do a copy. But in this case, it doesn't let me do a paste because it doesn't want you to copy models into another program so if I try to do copy it tells me you can't do it however the nice thing about Rhino is it has a memory so if I was to go here and choose another truncated cone and click out here and start to drag out you'll see at the top it says radius at base 2.132 if I just type that in and hit enter and then it says 0.957 hit enter and then 13.333 and hit enter what I do is I have an exact copy now of that leg. Now again, it would be easier to just copy, paste, and drag, but since this isn't a registered version. Um, so now I want to do another one. I'm just going to go truncated cone, click, and then type the same things in. 2.132, 0.957, 13.333, 3 and then select, hold shift down, and select the bottom. And so now over here I've got an end table. Alright, so the next step is to give this thing some texture. I'm going to just move this up a little bit. I'm going to select the top, click on my little materials box here, and go down here to details. Whoops, not details. Um, I've got to change this to material. And then I'm going to choose basic. And then down here on my texture bitmap, I'm going to go to my computer textures. You see I have a ton of stuff. Um, and I can choose a texture here that I want my my table to be. Let's say I want it to look like no, that's a little bit cheesy. Let's see. lots and lots and lots of ideas here. I'm going to go with this rusty metal. Okay, and then with my legs here, I'm going to hold shift and select them all, and then I'm going to go back to basic, and then I think I'm just going to choose like black, and then I'm going to make this real glossy, maybe metallic, and I think I'm going to leave that one okay up there. So I'm going to go ahead and click my render. Okay, so it kind of is working. Let me go, if I hold this down, right here, 
Come on. All right, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this. But if you hold down your render option here, you can view it in your window. And you can adjust the scale of your texture and things like that. But you get a basic idea of how you can make a quick table. So I hope that helps. And um, it's kind of a an interesting tutorial. Um, I enjoy being able to just draw a shape and then make it become 3D. So let me know if you have any questions, and I'd really like to see what you do with it. Thanks a lot.